today we're going to be showing you guys how to bring Lego models into 3ds Max. It doesn't really matter what program you use as long as you can import 3D via file. So let's get started and open up Lego Digital Designer. And it's a good program to use just for build stuff, learning 3D actually, surprisingly. But we can choose one of these um, characters. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make characters, by the way. I didn't say that because there are a lot of things that show you how to make the actual models. And the characters are a bit more complex to do because you have to worry about textures. So let's drag a um, head. Drag this head. Uh, let's take uh, this head. A zombie head. You can just spend as much time as you want over here. It does not matter. And you can put hair. I'm not going to worry about that because he's a wrestler. And you just find the bodies. Having a bit of trouble with that. Could have already passed them. Uh -huh. Here they are. So, find the body you want. So now that we have that, you can find legs for him. So these legs will do good. And there you are, you have it. Now if you want to add headgear, it's right over here. So put something like this on him. Actually, if you want, switch this up a bit. Because it really doesn't matter what the guy looks like. Because we're in, we're just making this for the tutorial, and there's a lot of stuff. Just spend your time looking through it because it's your video. You want it to look good if you're doing a video. And also, one more thing: if you do want to use this in animation, you're gonna want to bring the level of detail up a bit because you can see I zoom in over here, and it's kind of blocky. But that's perfect for a video game. But the reason Lego made it like that was because it's for it's not meant for super computers like most like some a lot of you guys have. I'm not saying all of you, but quite a few of you. And um, it just made more for kids to use and build stuff. Although I am a kid, I don't use a computer for that. So take this, put this over here. Take this here so we're done and now you're gonna want 3d via print screen okay so 3d via print screen you can rip models it's a, a program made for ripping models and um you can find it from 3dvia.com i think they changed the name of it but just go to customer support and you can ask someone and they'll give you the link to it that's how i did it i don't think i have the link to it but i'll try to in the description so make sure you have these um, boxes checked and you can put on preview it just takes longer to do and it's kind of a waste of time so it's good how it is right now and one more thing you want to open 3d via before you open the program you're going to rip the model from okay so um, we're going to click F12 I mean F10 and then done. It's done, you click that, and now we go to here, options, and you're gonna paste this right over here, okay? And now, we're gonna go into 3D Studio Max, and um, I use 2011, it doesn't really matter what you use, um, like I said before. And just wait for this to open. By the way, you can close this. Just wait for it. Oh, here's some of the stuff I made with it, by the way. Some of the stuff I made with Lego Digital Designer. I had to do some of the textures and make some of the models because 
um, I just couldn't find anything I wanted, so I just made in a 3D Studio Max. So, I by the way, in order to import it, you need SimLab. There's another plugin you can use. I forget the name of it, but it really takes a long time to install. Has a bunch of bugs, so just use the SimLab plugin, and you can find that at SimLab. SimLab.com, I think it is, or .org, or .ca. Anyway, um, just in, just install it, register it, and um, then you're ready to go. It they will they'll send you an email, and it will have a file for, and then it will let you activate it. So you can go to SimLab import, and wait for this to load. By the way. It names it by the date of what you have, the 3D XML files. So I'm going to import this, open, and this, just wait a little bit. And there you have it. He's imported in it. So let's level him out. There we go. He's good over here. Not quite over here. And yeah, it's good. And just bring him up onto here so he's a little more level. And we're, we're good, okay? So now, he's completely textureless. Doesn't have any textures in there. <laughs> and you guys are probably thinking, oh, come on, I can't make my own textures. Well, you don't have to, okay? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to 3dvia.com and uh, actually I found um, Internet Explorer does not work for um, importing models for um, 3dvia so that is a bit of a problem so upload this by the way you're going to upload it and find the same file, open it, and um, this comes with the textures, so I'm not the author, and just upload it, and this will load, continue, and um, There we go. We're good. <laughs> and save changes. And now the Lego soldier. Take him. And you can see there is textures. So they look really ugly now. But the reason is because it's actually transparent. But 3D V it does a really bad job of showing that. So you can download the textures and image 70. Now you see you open it and it's like that. It's fine. Now let's click this over here. Download texture. Okay. Over here. Have it. And look at that. It's great. The resolution's super high. And now, these mo with these over here, let's open, let's open this with Photoshop, okay? Sorry it's on my other screen, and I do not think I'm recording on both.